Uh, hello everyone and welcome to Real Time with NEPCON China 2018. Uh, I'm Stephen Las Marias and joining me today is Harald Eppinger, uh, Managing Director of uh, Koyan Technology. Harald, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, so first, can you please uh, tell us just a brief intro about Koyang for those who may not be familiar with the company. Uh, Koyang is, I think, one of the leading companies in inspection technology, uh, mm -hmm. especially SPI pre relief or post relief flow. Yeah. And also extending this kind of business into pin inspection and MOI business. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's inspection is our business. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. All right. Um, so basically, are you uh, yeah, you're taking of care of the uh, European side? Yes, I'm responsible mainly for the European market and uh, establishing the business and supporting the local uh, partners, also the, the customers there, yeah. mm -hmm. the subsidiary management. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what are the latest technologies that you're showcasing here at uh, uh, the show this week? I think uh, mainly it's the, uh, the continuously improvement of the machine itself. Uh, mm -hmm. We are having here the, the latest, uh, call it, innovations with this higher throughput, uh, higher resolution in SPI or as well in AOI. Mm -hmm. um, also the new products, as I mentioned before, pin inspection is the press fit technology is very, very important uh, also in automotive. Mm -hmm. And uh, as an umbrella, we have, we, we show the key smart uh, solutions, which is uh, getting all the data, um, gathering from the machine and getting the, tran the, the process transparent. That is one of the biggest um, highlights we show here on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the challenges that these uh, technologies are trying to address? Um, the massive amount of data which increased by smaller components and uh, higher throughput um, makes it more difficult for the humans to understand the process and to, to, to improve the process. Mm -hmm. Improving process is the most important thing. Uh, a bad process costs you a lot of money. That's right. So process stability is one of the goals. And getting the data and transferring, let me say, into process optimization, right. that's one of the most challenging things because the humans cannot detect anymore the small differences of process optimization. You're not talking anymore catching a defect. That's right. a must. But yep. be preventive in actions to prevent the defect. I think that's the goal and that's the challenge in the moment. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I think, um in that regard, is that where AI comes into play? Yes, I think this is one of the factors. If you reconsider that a human has to review a big yellow book and compare two yellow books, what is the difference in printing if somebody right. is missing a site, a right. page? Mm -hmm. We are talking missing a character in this yeah. print. So the amount of data which, which we grab from a board, which we analyze in measurement values, is just too much for humans. Right. So you would be busy like help for a single board analysis. AI can help to detect the anomalies in a process, the link to a process, to a machine, to a component. Mm -hmm. And this is a clear instruction to the operators, not, but not only the line operators, it could help to manage the lines and even mm -hmm. the purchasing processes because of the quality of the problem, the influence in the manufacturing process based on a component getting visible. Managing the data and be uh, much more clever than humans can be in the analyzing the amount of data. That's AI came on board. Mm -hmm. Make our life easier would be the nice word. Yeah, uh, and Coing is really uh, is, is, is a company uh, making a big push towards having more uh, powerful powerful AI in, uh, in, uh, in their systems? Of course, we, we created an extra an R&D center for this and it's, it's based in San Diego because we figured out that the most, most uh, experienced and, and knowledgeable people and mm -hmm. they contributed already with a short uh, time in, the, in, in our company, they contributed a lot with, with significant developments. You can see the results, how powerful AI can be. And it's not only a marketing gig, it's really in execution and this is important. This is mm -hmm. very important. You mentioned San Diego, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember uh, we were at the uh, Apex last February, and uh, Koyang is part of the uh, CFX uh, yes. uh, factory, uh, the demo. Yeah. So what is the importance of that demo to the industry? I think we have to, to be a little more precise. We have two aspects here. New, new groups, new organization, new formats has been established. Hermes, 
as a horizontal communication yeah. to get, let me say, the production line transparent. Right. Um, the technology within this, getting the data, and then you have a vertical communication into the world of MAS. Mm -hmm. I think it's not a one uh, solution, one channel solution recommended. We need to have transparent and the horizontal layer and the vertical layer. Mm -hmm. And being a member in the CFX is, is helping us to get the standards clean yeah. that we can provide good solution for the customers. Mm -hmm. Being in a leading role in the industry, mm -hmm. you also have the responsibility to be innovative in this kind of new standards to make our life easier and to find a proper way to communicate to our customers and also deliver for them a benefit, not mm -hmm. only as, as a machine provider, as, as a driver, but through standardization and through innovation. And that's the reason why we joined this group. The communication on different levels is important. Mm -hmm. All right, are there still uh, issues that need to be ironed out in CFX? Uh, it's, um, there will be always. You know, this That's industry right. never yeah. stops. If you stop innovation, the industry will be gone. That's so right. therefore, mm -hmm. I, I, I would not say that uh, we are finished. Uh, we are in mm -hmm. early stage. Mm -hmm. And with every further step, you will see that there's a next level to improve. Right. So it's in a good way and it's a good mood. The communication starts. And very important yeah. is that a lot of customers mm -hmm. and a lot of vendors understand that there is a need to get to this kind of platforms, communications, as unified communication. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, Harald, uh, we're here in China now. What are the opportunities you're seeing in this market? As a, for me, as a European representative, I would say it's, it's quite hard to see how, how big is the market and how, how specific is the market. Okay. Uh, when we are talking about a, a big uh, site, we are talking about a few SMT lines. When they are talking about a big site here, they add a few numbers yeah. and multiply. But I think the dynamic of, of Asia, the dynamic of China is incredible. I think it's, it's a very promising area and very promising business. So, what, how, um, how do you find the competition in this region? Um, there's in every region competition. It's mm -hmm. a matter where you would like to go. We believe that we can offer premium uh, products and premium solutions and you have also always a market where you can start in a low area and a high area. So. Um, it's hard to, to, to compare the competition, right. mm -hmm. um, but every customer has to decide on his own how much he would like to spend for a solution. As I mentioned before, there are still a lot of machines who focus on the gatekeeping aspect in the yeah. business. Mm -hmm. uh, this is good enough to get the quality somehow stable, yeah. but to be competitive in the near future, and I can tell you in regions where labor costs are much higher, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You need to have all these add-on features to be competitive. Right. Because you cannot just put another people in the rework. You have to get rid of the false code. You have to have quick programming, mm -hmm. quick analysis, everything in real time. And I think that's the difference between the competitors. And at the end, the customer has to decide mm -hmm. by a proper analysis. And we hope that he will do the right selection. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, uh, and then I think, uh, if I remember correctly, before uh, the, uh, you know, the manufacturers are just, you know, they're not really putting uh, a lot of thought in inspection. They think it's just a, a, you know, a value, uh, I mean, uh, just another step in the line. But then uh, more and more their customers are asking them to have these inspections in the line. Yeah. That, that's true. There's a, there's a clear trend. In, in the last years, or uh, let me say last 10, 10, 15 years, there was, production wasn't focused to increase the throughput. Mm -hmm. But just increasing the throughput does not mean that you get more out. Right. And I think every market in the world has realized that the first pass yield yeah. is the most important things to get to be competitive. You cannot mm -hmm. throw away boards which are expensive. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the smaller structures are uh, making it impossible to do a rework. Right. So these two aspects is very clear that you need to have sensors, and I'm not talking about inspection machines, I'm talking about sensors 
who realize the deviation from a process and yeah. trigger the people to improve and to stabilize. Right. And I think this is even not only forced by the customer, yeah. it's even the understanding of the manufacturers, EMS, OEMs, that without this knowledge, they are not able to fulfill customers' expectation of a high top quality. That's right. And even for low price products, people expect a certain quality. Mm -hmm. And that is, cannot be done by rework. So this is the only one by stabilizing the processes. So it's very clear, it's a demand from end customers, but also it's an internal finding that you need these tools to be on the safe side. To, right. You can say, yes, I believe our quality is top and I can prove it to you by the documents, by the, by the, by the statistics. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, you know, the industry is, uh, you know, industry for that always is coming. Um, how are you helping customers uh, in their, uh, uh, from your perspective, how are you helping them in their journey towards uh, smarter manufacturing? I think as I mentioned, um, first of all, getting the machine smarter and more trustful that uh, you can really believe what the machine is telling you. Mm -hmm. That is the issue, in, in the, especially in the inspection, there was always the discussion of false code programming time, uh, programmer's capability to get to a certain point. This is one part, get the machine more stable in the result and build up the trust from customer into the machines, that's one part. Then getting the result under control, collecting this more significant data from a board mm -hmm. and then utilize them and visualize it for the operators. Okay. Because operators are typically hesitating to analyze data because in an extra burden, you are busy enough with the line and you get an extra data to analyze. And this combination to get a better understanding and to treat this, this, this people with uh, pre-processed data that they're easy to understand what to do. Right. This is the, the step forward, mm -hmm. how we believe that this goes forward into the, into the action and into the positive understanding and let me say, make our life easier. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Harold, last year, the whole, most, well, majority of the industry is like saying, are like saying that they you know they've they've had they've seen significant growth. Um, I, I'm sure uh, Koyang uh, did uh, very great as well. Um, how do you see it uh, this year? How do you see the industry moving forward this year? Um, every time after good year, mm -hmm. you question Mike: It will we continue or will be a crisis? And I can say we don't see any crisis upcoming. We have good business in all over the world, uh -huh. uh, in every region. Right. Um, it's amazing. Um, how the industry grows and we are participating from this grow quite successful. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. um, Harald, uh, thank you very much for your time. Do you have any final comments? Thanks very much to be invited to give you a comment and uh, looking forward to see you in the, one of the next shows, mm -hmm. wherever this will be. Thank exactly. you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. That's Harald Eppinger, um, Managing Director of Koyang Technology. And I'm Stephen Lasmarias. Thank you very much for joining us.